Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, uh, talking outdoors here on ESPN 790 in Memphis. All you folks in Brownsville and Jackson joining in on the conversation. Uh, took a little break on our fish talk which you expect on the fourth Saturday when you have Ron Wrong, that's Bonus Wong, uh, in with us. And, of course, uh, Bill Cooksey uh, is always with us on the fourth Saturday if he's not traveling or in the Gulf of Mexico or <laughs> some other lost in some airport someplace. Right, uh, right. Chasing turkeys or trying to catch one crappie. Uh, we'll have him here with us. But uh, special segment right now. Always have this segment. And when I get an email from Gary Conklin saying, when is it? What day? Can we do it as soon as possible? You know, so I, I got to work with Gary because uh, got a lot of respect for Gary and uh, the young man over there next to him. It's uh, the tournament director, and we're glad to have uh, Gary Conklin and Jason Wiggs on with us this morning talking about the 47th annual St. Jude Bass Classic, May 26th. I wonder where it's going to be. <laughs> Same place it's been for the last 46 years. That's right. Sardis Lake, Engineers Point, uh, a gathering place, 47 years. Golly, man, I was just 12 at that time, I wish. <laughs> well, let's talk to Gary and uh, Jason about this event because, uh, uh, and, and Gary, I know we do this every year. It still tugs at my heart to hear you talk about what it means to you. And tell our listeners, as you have done for several years, about your connection to St. Jude Research Hospital. 1983, I went into St. Jude Hospital, and me, my wife, and my daughter, she was 13 years old, and diagnosed with dysgermandoma cancer. Uh, she went through some radiation treatment. At that time, the way to know for sure was second look surgery. Yeah. Uh, Four months later, they did second, <clears throat> excuse me, second look surgery, and everything was fine. <clears throat> uh, Talk it, Gary. Come on, tell us. Tell she's, us it. she's. <laughs> uh, I had fished the tournament two or three years prior to her going in the hospital, and uh, after that, we went through that and everything. I continued to fish the tournament, and uh, a good friend of mine, Tommy and Nina, two friends, Tommy and Nana Patrick. Yeah. Uh, Got me involved with the Memphis Bass Club, and uh, I started printing brochures for them, doing this, and <clears throat> next thing you know, I'm getting fired from different jobs down there. <laughs> so uh, it's it's been a uh, great reward for me and my family. Uh, in 2016, my granddaughter went into St. Jude. Yes. Madison. Yeah. And... Uh, she was told when she went in that Madison will have you cured in four months. Now, in 1962, when they opened the doors, they had a 20% cure rate. Yeah. They have an 80 to 85% cure rate now. Today. For somebody to go in the hospital with a child with cancer, I can tell you it's an overwhelming experience. Yes. You don't know what to expect. Yeah. St. Jude takes all those worries away. Uh, it's uh, unlike any hospital that uh, that I've been in in my life. The number one thing at St. Jude Hospital above everything else is the patient. The patients rule that hospital. They, it's always fascinated me to go in there, the number of times that I've been in there, the people that work in there. Yeah. I mean, it takes a special person to work in a hospital like that. It does. But you never see... Somebody working there that doesn't have a smile on their face. And your daughter is now? My daughter, she fishes a tournament with me. She's going <laughs> and her name, to tell her you is, she's 48 years old and, now. And her name is? Cammie. Yeah, t- uh, C-A-M-M-I-E. Okay, so and now your granddaughter. Madison. And how's she doing? She's doing fine. She uh, 14th of next month, she'll change, turn 22 years old. Yeah. She'll be back in Memphis from... Uh, <laughs> Arkansas, where she's going to college and everything. She's got to go in for some tests at St. Jude and everything. She's yeah. uh, she spoke all over the country for St. Jude. She's yes, been she to Las Vegas, New Las Vegas twice, New York, uh, down in Louisiana, and so on and so forth. She has a, 
an end with uh, Sadiac over there. Yes. A lot better one Richard. than I got. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm hoping she can help me out with him this year. But uh, she's doing doing fine. She's a, a good spokesperson for St. She Jude. really is, yeah. And uh, yeah. we had her at the tournament uh, in 2000. You had, when I was down there one year, she was down there. I yeah, mean, she, yeah, she was down there. She was uh, had just gone through her tra- some of her treatment at that time. And, yeah. Uh, She's she's doing fine. All right, so that's Gary Conklin. If that doesn't get you fired up, nothing will, because uh, that's from the heart. And, and Jason, talk about uh, the tournament this year. What uh, uh, some of the things that uh, we've come to expect? Uh, give us a little detail of what's going on on uh, on that May the twenty sixth. Yeah, so not a lot has changed since uh, the last several years that we've been doing this. Um, Check ins on the Friday before the Saturday before. Uh, early morning blast off. A few things that we actually did add this year. Um, this year we have a band playing. So oh really? Yeah. So have the family members out. We have Twin Soul. They're coming out to play for us. All right. So that uh, while the boat are, are weighing the fish, and while they actually are fishing, we'll have a band playing for all the families, the wives, the kids. Um, have a bunch of new food vendors out. Food trucks will be out there feeding everybody. All right. You hear that, Ron? They got a band and they got food. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, he can practice his dance moves and he can better. get ready for the yeah the the elite dance contest, right? You're, while you're down there, so yeah, yeah. One of the biggest changes that we had actually was our corporate sponsor, Landers Ford, uh, Landers Auto Group, and South Haven came forward and yes, they did. Really uh, came out with all the prize money for us and helped us uh, make this happen. So we're really excited. Have a lot of cool prizes given away. Um, a lot of uh, companies stepped up this year and donated products so that we have some really cool giveaways, auction, and the silent auction, which is always a big one for us. And you got the War Eagle boat. Got the War Eagle boat. It's actually getting outfitted right now over at uh, Performance Marine. Yes. Uh They're getting all the um, tracing, all them. We're getting the boat, the motor put on from Yamaha, the uh, trolling motor, depth finders, all that's going to be rigged out, so it'll be ready to go. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and we actually, um, another marina actually handed us a trolling motor that we'll be auctioning off, so. Well, you're yeah, trolling motors cost a little bit more than that first one I bought. You know, I, kinda, I can still, I, th- I think mine looked like one dance at Lost in the Water when he's in the back of the boat there. Hey, we're talking to Jason Wiggs, the uh, uh, tournament director for the St. Jude Bass Classic, and Gary Conklin, the longtime participant. And i got to ask you, Gary, uh, uh, tell us about fishing for the kids. Well, it's probably the best thing that ever happened <laughs> to this bass tournament. This is the... And why do you say that? Well, um, it was started 10 years ago. Yeah. The first year, it raised $14,000. Yeah. And I said, heck, we didn't even advertise anything. So uh, the letter or portion you see on the entry form for the Fishing for the Kids was written nine years ago. Hadn't changed since. To date. To date. To date. What? What is it to date? $924,000. $924,000. They'll wow. go over a Say million. Say that again. Nine hundred and what? $924,000 have been raised by 20 boats for the last nine years. It's uh, I get goosebumps on that, buddy. I mean, well, uh, I you mean, know. Um, you're just a man of good knowledge here. And that's uh, uh, from 14000 to now 924000 What does that tell you about uh, this, this tournament? That these fishermen... Given an opportunity, will do what they can for a very, very worthy hospital. They've, uh, they've, they've come on strong. And you know the thing about it, I don't have to have a lot of contact with them, just other than say, hey, are you fishing this year? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Are you going to be in the fishing <laughs> for the kids? Yeah. yeah. And I said, okay. But uh, one of the big reasons for the success is my friends down in Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, Louisiana. Friends Against Childhood Cancer, Charles Williams and yes. Jimmy Amid down there. Yeah, they'll send a check up here, probably somewhere between sixty and eighty thousand dollars, and sponsor five, six, seven, however many teams they want. Yeah. So however many teams they send up here, I can promise you they'll probably be in the top ten, wow. uh, which they are every year. <laughs> uh, the bunch of Excuse me for saying it, but a bunch of wonderful coon asses. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> and and if, you're, if you're good to them and you talk about them a lot, they'll invite you to eat with them on Friday night. Uh, and it's, uh, it's authentic Cajun food. Uh, they bring their own onions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say this because uh, Ron's been a – he won when he was by himself in the tournament. Our own Ron Wong is a, 
is a former winner. Ron, Ron was actually the first two-time winner of the St. Jude Bass Classic. So tell us, Ron, about uh, what it means to you, this tournament. Well, uh, Larry, uh, like Gary has talked about, of all the wonderful things that happens at St. Jude Hospital, one and you're, of the and you're, on, you're on the board. Uh, yeah, you're on the board of so many things. I think you're pretty close to the hospital. So, I, one of the things that uh, about St. Jude that, that touches me is that all of these, all of the patients that go in, all the kids that go in, there is no cost to them. So it's incumbent upon all of us to do what we can to help raise funds to keep St. Jude doing what they do, not only curing all of these kids, but to find cures and continue the wonderful resource research that they do. And it touches me because it's kids. And, you know, yep. kids are our future, and we have to make sure that we give them the quality of life the best quality of life that we can. Well, and St. Jude that's, is that's where it starts. the absolute best. And I know we've got a couple of minutes here, Ron. I, I know you spoke that from the heart. So, Jason, uh, folks out there want to get uh, want to get in the tournament, uh, what do they got to do? Yeah, so we made it real simple. You can go to stjudebassclassic.com and register online, or you can show up on day of registration and register uh, the day before or mail in the application that's available at Bass Pro, um, multiple fishing shops, or just give me a call on my cell phone, and I'll make I'll make it happen. And this will be on LROutdoors.com. We'll sure post that for you guys and make sure that we mention it all the way up to the very end. Gary, Jason, thank you all thank for you. being Thank uh, you again, Larry. I'm uh, I'm part of the team. Uh, mm-hmm. If I'm not there, I'm, I'm not there in person. I'm there in spirit, that's for sure. All thank right. You. Let's take a break. Come right back. We'll close out today's show and uh, talk a little crop fishing. Not necessarily with Bill Cooksey. No. But, but uh, we're going to hook up with Matt Morgan, the man behind, he and his wife behind the American Crappie Trail. And there's been a little change in the schedule. And we'll let Matt and Ron take care of that on Outdoors with Larry Ray.